Hello everyone, Michael Shamlin here. I'm a professional landscape photographer based out of San Francisco, California. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can shoot night cityscapes with the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 4. We're also gonna be covering the Galaxy Z Fold 4, and I'm gonna show you how I edit images captured with the Expert Raw app. In order to shoot city shots, you really don't need much. All you need is a sturdy place to put your camera because you don't want the camera moving during a long exposure. Now, in some cases, you can use a tripod or in the case of the Galaxy Z Flip 4, you can actually use the phone itself as a tripod and reposition it to get the proper composition. For the case of this tutorial, I found a slightly elevated perspective that offers this great skyline view in the distance and the opportunity for light trails on the street down below. So in the camera app, if you wanna be in the pro mode, this is gonna allow you to change your settings. Okay, so ISO, this is your camera's sensitivity to light, and I wanna keep this as low as possible because I wanna bring in more light through the shutter speed and the long exposure. This is gonna allow us to do car trails. Here is the EV meter right here in the middle. You generally want this to be as close to zero as possible. For focus, if it's super dark, you can set your focus manually, or in most cases, I like to keep the focus on center, and then I can tap on a point in the photo to lock focus. Now that we're ready to go, let's go ahead and click the shutter. Okay, so let's take a look at the Galaxy Z Fold 4. I use the Expert Raw app to shoot this composition with the Bay Bridge and the city with the telephoto lens using the same techniques and settings as the previous images. And now I'm gonna go ahead and bring that image from the Expert Raw app into Lightroom. Some things that I do to every single photo is remove chromatic aberration, add some sharpening and noise reduction, adjust the exposure and white balance, and then I can go through and do some color edits with the grading tool and the mix tool. All right, so here's our final image. I really hope you all enjoyed the tutorial and I'll catch you in the next one.